Hi there, my name is Wheeler Beckett, and the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And I, I just came across this article, uh, and it's from just, so, just over a year ago, just, just not that long ago, just over a year ago, and it is absolutely fascinating, the arrogance, the breathtaking arrogance of the uh, of the, the access media, the shill media, uh, from just a year ago. This is from right before uh, Game of Thrones Season 8 uh, aired, and when there was not even a conception of a conception of a conception that uh, any of these franchises, mega franchises, Star Wars, Star Trek, uh, Doctor, anything, again, it wasn't even a conception that anything could fail. They, we would accept anything, and uh, you know, they, they 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 had completely forgotten the audience. They completely forgotten any accountability to the audience. They had completely forgotten that they uh, they need to produce a a. Uh, a saleable product for the audience. They need to please an audience. Uh, no, they just said, no, we're going to buy You put the name on it, we're going we're gonna to buy it. How much things have changed in a year. And I'm not going to say, I, you know, it's not just the current pandemic that changed it. I think it's Game of Thrones that started to change it. I think it's uh, Terminator Dark Fate. I think it's uh, Charlie's Angels. All these flops over and over again. Uh, Birds of Prey. I think, I think these, re these uh, relentless flops have started to change it. But I think the uh, uh, the the uh, the pandemic is the thing that's really really changed things for everything. So before before I get into this article, it's it's fascinating, really, absolutely fascinating. Before I get into this, I'm going to ask you guys: Can you hit the like button? Can you hit the subscribe button? That'll be fantastic. Can you hit the share button? Yeah, I'm really reliant on all you guys to help me out here because I'm a teeny tiny micro channel. So if you can if you can help me out hitting this button, thank you so much. If you if you subscribe, you are, can be entered to win this fantabulous prize: the Matrix. Uh, uh, ultimate, uh, the ultimate collection, I think it's called. It's got the Matrix, the Matrix Reloaded, Matrix Revolution, the Matrix Animatrix, a very good set of uh, of a uh, animations, and uh, the Matrix Experience. Everything you want to know about the Matrix. All you got to do to win it is subscribe to the channel. Then in the in the comments, leave the hashtag. Uh, what is the hashtag? There is no spoon. There is no spoon. Um, and that's yeah, that's yeah, all you have to do to win. And uh, we're going to do the prize draw not this Sunday, next Sunday. I normally do these uh, uh, giveaways uh, weekly, but this one I'm doing two weeks because it's a big prize. Also, check the video notes. There is uh, you don't have to subscribe to this one. There is a really cool uh, sci-fi spooky audio story called Sapphire and Still: The Passenger in the uh, um, uh, in the video notes, so you you can just download it. There. Download and enjoy. I, I I hope you guys like it. Fine. So let's let's. Let's step back in time. Step back to the wonderful time. This is the wonderful time. Uh, the Game of Thrones isn't really ending in uh, isn't really ending in 2019. Yeah, it is gone forever. That's what this article is going to be. People saying things that are wrong, wrong, wrong over and over again. Uh, and neither is will any other modern franchise. How wrong you are! How wrong you've been! Game of Thrones, uh, Star Wars, and Marvel movies want to. Uh, the kudos of the final chapter, but they won't actually pull the trigger. Well, they, they you know, they, they, they tried, but they, they failed. So, oh, of course, Hugh Fullerton. Hugh Fullerton is the, the most insane shill in the entire universe. Lo love me a bit bit of Hugh Fullerton, what I, what I want to hear. A bit of wonderful shillery. But this is this is why it's so good, because we're going to see how incredibly shilly he is. And this was from Sunday, 21st of April, 2019. Uh, so this is prior to the G Game of Thrones imploding. And you know the the petition and the base. Let's just read it and see him say lots of wrong things. Twenty nineteen is the end of Game of Thrones. Yes, it is absolutely the end of it. Didn't have to be, but that's what they made it. After eight years, countless deaths, and a lot of sex position, the biggest show in the world will, will bring its epic fantasy storyline to a close, uh, cutting millions of fans off. Uh, angrily, who then started a petition and say, this was shit, what on earth are you doing? This was one of the greatest shows ever, and you turned it into garbage. Uh, as we finally learned the fate of Westeros and, uh, and its remaining rest, uh, residents. But again, very, very uh, dissatisfying uh, uh, a revelation fate, wasn't it? Nobody really cared. And we were just like, what? That? Really? Oh, we have to, we, oh, stories are the most important thing. So the story will be Bran the Broken. And then, no, we saw it for like 10 minutes. And he's like, he's, look, he's just stared blankly in space. That, yeah, Tyrion had a better story. Um, except, of course, it isn't really the end of anything. Oh, really? Really, Game of Thrones is an ending? Really? The dire wolf in the room is, uh, during any article discussing Thrones' epic finale, 
uh, end of everything series on I know is a couple of weeks in a couple of weeks there's a new casting announcement for the Game of Thrones prequel. What happened to that? What happened to that? You pissed it away. You pissed it away because you gave a shit and you expected us to eat it. And then you were shocked that we didn't want to eat your shit that you tried to shove down our throat. That's what happened. So where, where, where is it, Hugh? Where, where's that series? Because it's not ending, is it? Oh, really? You know, one thing that can end a series is doing something that's utterly, utterly awful and not have, taking no accountability, uh, which is set, uh, set start filming later this year. Filming, film, uh, uh, film the pilot, uh, rejected. Nobody wants it. Uh, Thrones is, un uh, uh, Thrones understandably wants to have its lemon cake and eat it too, taking up the momentous importance of the final, uh, of the, uh, final series while still quietly planning its replacement. Yeah, I, again, yeah, they, although it didn't have to be the final series, then, you know, as we found out, they could have gone to see, what, I, exactly like George, George R. R. Martin said, could have gone to 10 seasons easily. Could have been launching HBO Max with another epic season of, of Game of Thrones exclusively on that. Well, wouldn't you like that reality a little bit better, HBO? No, no, you, you, you wanted to be stunning and brave. Actually, it wasn't even part of being stunning and brave. You just had a couple of coked out losers running the show and, you know, who, who were sniffing, high on sniffing their own farts. And also sniffing other things, probably. And they, you know, they and, and they just told me everything you did is wonderful. You can't do anything wrong. So where's that Star Wars? Oh, yeah, well, I'm not gonna. Yeah, I was saying. Let me go forward a little bit in this article. I gotta show you how many things he's wrong about. Uh, but once upon a time, the uh, uh, the critically acclaimed popular TV series, like say The Sopranos, another HBO here, may have been allowed to uh, uh, fade in long night without pl plans of continuation or any uh, or any emotion. By contrast, these days. Uh, uh, any ending for a uh, popular cultural, co popular pop culture offering is uh, unlikely to st uh, to stick long. Yeah, 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 get well. I think people are thinking twice now, aren't they? The Sopranos is now getting a prequel movie. That's something actually I'm looking forward to. And after uh, 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 over twelve years after uh, finished, Game of Thrones by contrast hasn't even waited twelve months before get, uh, getting started on what's next. What? Nothing. Go start on nothing because you did shit. That's why. Got, that's what happened. Uh, and it's uh, and it's far from the only offender when uh, when, when it comes to artificially extending the life of value IP uh, while still uh, still trying to recap the uh, uh, kudos and interest for, uh, uh, from putting out a, for not, uh, uh, a final instalment. Well, yeah, Doctor Who managed it yeah, <laughs> quite a few times over. <laughs> we keep, keep on ticking. Just look at Star Wars. <laughs> okay, Aha! yeah, let's look at Star Wars, shall we? Where's that Ryan Johnson's tree uh, tr trilogy? Just look at Star Wars. Sure, after the original trilogy, we returned to the galaxy far, far away with the prequels. But there, there was a good decade or so uh, uh, for fans to wait before they emerged. It was more than that, ended the '83 prequels was '99. Uh, that was what, 16 years. It was more than a decade. Um, after the prequels, the franchise had. had uh, uh, had, uh, had a bit of rest before Disney started making their Star Wars films, incidentally pumping out more, more movies on 20, uh, 2015, 2019 than the franchise previously managed over a quarter century. Oh, and, and how's the quality? How, how, did, how did that get down? How, how, how was Solo? Did Solo do well for you? Uh, Rise of Skywalker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Never mind the quality. Fill the width. That, that, that was your uh, way of looking at it. Look, again, completely no accountability. He's right with zero accountability. Uh, after December's episode nine, we might uh, we might have expected the series to take on take another uh, ten years break. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what kind of what we're expecting right now, mate. Uh, uh, break or even stop entirely. Yeah, I, I love what you mean. Like they're, they're, they're saying they're pumping the brakes on the uh, uh, on on the on, on more more movies, especially considering the fact that the next movie is being billed as the last chapter in the Star uh, Skywalker saga. Yeah, it didn't do so good, did it? Uh, a story uh, strand, uh, a story strand that began. With the original in the 1977 Star Wars, but already plans are are, are in motion for two new separate trilogies. Yes, and let's read about those trilogies. Okay, yeah, okay. This was in an age before there was accountability. This was in an age before you know you uh, uh, franchises failed. So the first uh, two separate trilogies from Ryan Johnson. Where's your trilogy, mate? Where is it? Yeah, where is it? I, no, you don't 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 have it. Time to show you. Still working on it. Okay, fine. Also, there's what about the second one? Uh, and Game of Thrones bosses Dave, uh, David Benioff and DB Wise. Yeah, how'd that work out for you? Yo, oh, no, nothing ever ends, does it, Hugh? Nothing ever ends except when you destroy it. Uh -huh. It's ruined the uh, Star Wars world along with multiple TV spells. One, there's been one Mandalorian, which was good. Uh, and now they're definitely trying to feminize that and do a female Mandalorian. Um, 
yeah, Boba Fett's supposed to take off his helmet in season three and be and be a lady, Lady Fett. <laughs> uh, making it hard to again. This, they they learn nothing. Making it hard to anticipate uh, episode nine as ending other than just a step on the road uh, instead of a momentous final, uh, final, uh, final destination. It, it might have been. It was neither. It was neither. Nobody cared about it because it was crap. That it was it was nauseating crap. It gave everybody a headache. That's that. That's how well it did. In fact, the sheer determination with Lucasfilm is trying to force out brand new extensions that is already forming cracks in their business model. Oh, you noticed, did you? Uh, with the poor performance of, of the spin-off Solo movie. No, the poor performance of the spin-off Solo movie was because of Ryan Johnson's Last Jedi. You idiot! Uh, once, um, once part of a grand plan, uh, plan of uh, spin-offs that would ensure Star, Star, Wars, Star Wars longevity past episode 9. But Ryan Johnson destroyed them because Ryan Johnson couldn't give a shit about anybody other than Ryan Johnson. He wanted to subvert expectations. Here, yeah, you know the expectation you, you subverted? This one. The expectation of you making your, your sequel trilogy. You, you're making your Star Wars trilogy. Ah, I'm kind of glad that expectation got, got, uh, got the... What's the usurp? What do they call it again? The usurping expectation? I don't know. Uh, in fact... The, 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 uh, one point, uh, believed uh, by many to be the result of uh, uh, fans becoming too overused or even bored with Star Wars after they, it, did they pumped out so many films quickly. No! It's after they pumped out one film. One film and one film alone. And that film was The Last Jedi. Last Jedi killed Star Wars. Because you guys are morons! You're all morons! Even the Marvel Universe is complicit at this 2019 trend. While no one really expected the MCU to end after the Avengers Endgame, this movie and last year's Infinity War uh, were both marked as the end of the era for the share, uh, shared universe. No, they're not for the shared universe, for the, the, the reaching a stopping point, for reaching real consequences for characters involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it ended an arc. It can continue with a new arc, which they really tried to do with Spider-Man, to uh, Far From Home. But I'm out, baby! I'm out! You know, that Captain Marvel movie, uh, Ant-Man and Wasp, Boom! You show me what show me what you want to do, and I'm leaving. I'm leaving because you didn't think that could happen, did you? A year ago, I uh, guess. Guess again. I I get a feeling that, that a lot of movies are retooling now when they found out they can indeed fail. But Marvel's need to keep their lucrative stable of superheroes moving means that we're uh, already seeing uh, teasers of future movies set after the yet to be released finale. Uh, most probably Spider Man Far From Home, which actively spoils any tension on the impact of Endgame. Uh, yeah, no, only if you're a moron, you didn't think Spider-Man's going to come back. Uh, it could have been another man. Spoiler alert, Spider-Man is alive. And even if no one re really believed all the heroes had uh, properly died, it seems strange at this point to pretending that the stakes, uh, the stakes are, are, are real anymore. Oh, God, nothing matters. Hollywood! Uh, and the TV industry is full of people thinking of ways to extend their intellectual properties beyond their natural lifespan. Yes, but again... Without taking the audience into consideration, without taking any the idea of any uh, accountability into consideration, without doing that, you're not going to get very bloody far, are you? Uh, which they didn't. Uh, often, uh, often uh, to the detriment of the brilliant ideas that made the products. Uh, so, no, it's not. It's not that you're over making too many of them. That you're making them all shit. Uh, product successes in the first place. I would argue that keeping the properties on screen no matter what, uh, without giving them a break, risk, uh, risk diminishing returns. And we may uh, we may begin to see that already. An obvious example is J.K. Rowling's Fantastic Beasts franchise, which has faltered with the second film because it was shit! Yeah, again, why can't you get this in through your stupid head? If you make bad movies, people will not want to see your bad movies. It's really not complicated. Uh, Fantastic Beast, uh, the Crimes of Grimmel, is reception a long way off from the dizzy heights of the original Harry Potter. Yes, because it wasn't very good. Oh, God, how long is this? Okay, we're nearly done. We're nearly done. Oh, of course. Whoa, whoa, where'd he go? Come back here. Okay, the ad's gone somewhere from you. Of course. Uh, I'm more aware it's not uh, exactly a revelation that big corporations want to keep their, uh, uh, keep making money. Yeah, well, you could have fooled me with a dross they were, uh, uh, puking out, <laughs> uh, and, and that's no surprise uh, that everybody behind the scenes is keen for the uh, successful beloved TV show and film franchises keep going. And it's uh, it's not like Game of Thrones spin off or a new Star Wars series will definitely be bad. They they won't definitely be bad. They'll be non existent. They don't. They're not there because again, you with your head in with your nose in the air, 
without completely without without any any idea of 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 you needing us or you needing the audience. You thought it could go on forever. You just slap that logo on, boom, we'll buy anything. Yeah, you think so? I don't bloody think so. Uh, not bad. On the contrary, I'm, I'm quite intrigued to see both. Uh, it just strikes me that if we're if we let our franchises have a, 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 a fellow deco now and again, which yeah, okay, we're, which we're about to see, uh, then then we uh, then uh, allowing them a chance to settle and regrow. Yes, it's a torture glass. Oh God, shut up. Uh, torture glass re metaphor, uh, like like they used to. We we keep uh, we keep the need we keep the IP feeling fresh and allowing them. To now here's the thing. When you're making movies as a part of like a uh, assembly line, if you're making just making movies because you don't you don't care about the stories, and you know, it, then then you're just gonna yeah, it's gonna you can get franchise fatigue. If somebody loves everything they're doing, like again, there was no franchise fatigue with the Mandalorian because it was the, the love that you saw pour out into that. Uh, and tell me, absence of the big hitters, who knows? I, you know, other cool uh, and prosperous new, new products might spring up. Well, Star Wars was. Uh, on its lo on its long break, Marvel uh, Cinematic News birthed in uh, two thousand and eight. That's true. Uh, um, would, uh, would there have been room for that block? Yes, there would have been room for that if there if there Star Wars blockbusters every year. Uh, whatever, uh, whatever, whether the truth, I I worry that the Game of Thrones will now uh, never be made. I, I I worry that the game the next Game of Thrones will now never be made because they're already making another Game of Thrones. But I say they get okay. The next Game of Thrones will never be made because don't worry. The field's open. He was saying he was worried that the there won't be another Game of Thrones because the, the, that space is taken up by Game of Thrones. Don't worry. You shit the bed. You all shit the bed and you destroy these franchises so there's plenty of room for them to come back. My name is Sheila Beckin, the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah!